Saturday morning and took a tuk tuk ride to come to the Phnom Penh International Airport since we'll be taking a flight from here and heading towards Siem Reap. Super excited to see what's in store for us today and cannot wait to see how Siem Reap turns out to be. <music> And now I'm on my way to the hotel. We already got free shuttle from our hotel. There was this man who had his uh, sticker with my name on it. Felt really awesome, like, you know, VIP service. Right now we are on our way to the hotel, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> our luggage is in the hotel it's about 11 a.m. in the morning it's too early to check in since the check-in time starts from 2 p.m. so we decided to take a walk and come back around 1 and see if they can accommodate us also they told us we were the first Bangladeshi guests ever so that's something to think about <music> We decided to take a walk and we walked around the old marketplace. This is a bargain market where you can find souvenirs. And beside that we had coffee since we were a bit sleepy. We had to wake up really early in the morning. After strolling through that street, we decided to have lunch and we looked around for a halal place nearby and we came to this um, Cambodian Muslim restaurant. And this is uh, their local restaurant. We ordered beef loklak and mango fried salad with shrimps. So now we're going to dig in. We had lunch. How was it, Dusan? The lunch was good. It was the best we had till now. Yeah, surprisingly it was really good and it was halal. Wow. You like the beef loklak, right? Yes, I love the beef local, but I didn't like the one you had. What is yeah, it called? Yeah, I didn't like it. Too. Mango, mango salad with dried shrimp. It was too sour. Yeah. I still like it. Maybe it's supposed to be sour, but I don't know. It doesn't fit our taste. Yeah, it doesn't fit. But the beef local was really good. And we are planning to go for dinner too. Let's see. It's like 30 minutes away from our place, so I don't know. Yeah, I guess we, we didn't see much halal places either. So if we can't find anything else, maybe we'll be going there for dinner as well. Anyway, now we are headed to our hotel. We're going to check in. Fresh. Yeah. And then I'm surprising him with an activity. So you're curious, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Super curious. I hope you like it. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, and he's been trying to uh, like know what the activity is. He keeps on asking me what the activity is, but I won't tell them. Let's see. Our activity. So, what did we do, Tosa? We did pottery. And um, did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. I when I first saw it, I thought it's gonna be bad and I won't like it. But after doing it, it feels awesome. 
I know it was completely a different experience, and we didn't even know that pottery was this hard. Yeah, it was. It was, it was super hard, and it needs super stamina and uh, what is it called strength, or else you know it's gonna be a mess. Overall, it was an amazing experience. I'm glad we did this. attached to this and we have to keep this with us at all times we cannot lose this if it gets torn then we will have to rebuy the ticket so we have to be super careful with keeping the tickets and that's an advantage if you go around five five o'clock the previous day then you can catch both the sunset and the sunrise of the next day so that's what we're doing right now we're gonna go to Angkor Wat and check out the best places to take pictures as well as see the sunset and preparations for tomorrow excited to see what's in store tomorrow. After visiting Angkor Wat, I planned a second surprise for Tosef and we came here to the fair circus. And now we're going to watch circus and that's our first time for both of us. Really excited to see what's in the show. The show starts at 8 and it's barely 7. We came here early because uh, we got the unreserved seats so you need to line up for those seats and uh, we're going to line up after a while the lineup starts at 7 20. super excited to see what goes on
just came back to hotel. We had an eventful evening watching the circus show, which was awesome. It was one of the best experiences we had. It's uh, mainly about Cambodian children and helping them get off the streets, uh, helping the youth develop into uh, theater artists and them taking uh, dance and theater to the next level. It was uh, worth our money, definitely, and I'd recommend it to all of the visitors who come to CM Reap. They should check out the fair circus. After uh, the circus ended, we went to have our dinner and we tried out this new restaurant called the Muslim Family Kitchen. And it turned out to be way better than the one which we had our lunch in. And this was even cheaper. We had our whole meal. We had uh, fried lokluk with beef and fried, um, fried rice with seafood and two iced coffee for just $6, which was way cheaper than what we had in the afternoon. After we were done with our dinner, we headed back to this mini mart where we bought all the essentials needed for tomorrow since tomorrow is going to be the temple day where we'll be visiting Angkor Wat and other temples with it. So we'll be definitely getting dehydrated and we need all the fluids to keep us hydrated and get through the day. Right now we are back to our hotel and this is the end of my day. I'm gonna go and celebrate my anniversary with my husband.